Seriously? Who could have possibly thought that throwing this pointed, heavy metal dart was a good idea for a safe game that the whole family could play? Charts. These lawn darts are so dangerous that they were banned for years. Thousands of people have been sent to emergency rooms all over the world. At least one girl was killed and another went into a coma. As far as I can tell, it's even illegal for me to sell these under the Hazardous Products Act. These missiles, as the box calls them, not only have caused thousands of serious injuries, but also many broken windows and car dents. The game is played by setting up the two yellow plastic circles a distance apart and tossing these six ounce metal darts into the circles, sort of like horseshoes. Back in the box where they'll stay, never to be played with again. Now, if you would have had one of these when you were a kid for your Hot Wheels cars, you would have had a blast. This is called a super charger. I'm gonna show you how it works. The car goes in one side of the supercharger. It hits the spinning wheels and shoots out the other side. Here's how it looks at normal speed. Even in slow motion, it's a blur. Now here's what it looks like under the hood. Kerplunk. Now this was a fun game we played in the 60s and 70s. I'm not sure when they stopped making it or even if they stopped making it. But we had a blast playing this as a kid. Here's how it works. Kerplunk, which gets its name from the sound the marbles make when they drop into the plastic tray. The game is for two to four players. You start by inserting the plastic sticks in one side of the middle section and out the other. After all the sticks are installed, the marbles get loaded into the top. Then, one by one, the players take turns pulling out one of the sticks. The hole at the bottom is rotated to each player's number, and the marbles that fall into that tray count against you. The player with the lowest number of fallen marbles is the winner. So there you have it. Kerplunk. Now here's a blast from the past. I was walking through an antique shop a few months ago, and I saw this SSP car. Wow, did that bring back memories. I haven't seen one of these in 40 years, maybe longer. We used to have a lot of these when I was a kid. Now by today's standards, this thing is really lame. Here's how it works. You insert a rip cord like this. Spins the big wheel in the middle. These things are immovable. There isn't even a wheel on the front. It's just a piece of plastic. Then it slides along the ground at a whopping speed of about, oh, four miles an hour. Maybe it'll go 10 feet if you're lucky. But man, we had a lot of fun with these. It brings back a lot of memories. SSP cars, super sonic power. Now this toy is a top. While that may sound obvious to you, kids today don't even know what this is. And to prove my point, I asked my five-year-old grandson what this was. He didn't know. I asked my four-year-old grandson. Well, here's how that went. I'm gonna show you something and I wanna see if you know what it is. All right, let me show the audience first. Okay, you ready? What is this? Um, well you roll it. You roll it? Like, what do you call it? Um, a ball. <laughs> let me show you. Ready, set. Uh, now you know what it is? What do you call that? It's a top. This, of course, is mousetrap. 
Everybody knows how to play Mousetrap. Well, actually, everybody knows how to build Mousetrap. Nobody really knows how to play the game. This game has actually had a big influence on me. It's caused me to spend countless hours building things like this. And this. Okay, and this. Maybe I got a little carried away, but I loved this game as a kid and I love it as an adult. One of my bucket list items is to build a mousetrap game completely out of wood. Don't know if I'll ever do it, but that's my goal. Old toys are the best toys. They were made to last. You could hand them down to the next generation. They didn't always have our safety in mind, but you know, when we got hurt, it was our fault. Nowadays, somebody gets hurt and there's a lawyer involved. Thanks for going back in time to the 70s and the 60s and reminiscing with me about old toys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Alley Pick, and if you want to be notified of future videos, click on the bell. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.